Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome to my next future look into the updates that are going to be coming for this beautiful game called Grounded. I want to thank Obsidian so much for making this game because I've had so much fun making these videos for you guys and finding all the secrets that there are to unlock in this game. But I'm going to take a pause right here to let you guys know that if you guys do not want to be spoiled on what is future updates that are going to be coming to the game, I will turn away now from this video. But if you guys are interested in even more updates that are coming to this game, I have found all new things that I'm wanting to bring to you guys today, including the biggest one of all the underwater base yes I finally was able to find a way to get it in the game and I am finally able to check it out so as I turn around here you guys will start to notice some things that are different in the game we'll go into first person here so it's a little bit easier to see you guys will see that there are now bugs on these lily pads there are lily pads there's these wonderful big old grass stalks coming out of here looking over here we have some sort of Japanese or uh, Asian inspired pagoda of, or lantern of some sort um, we have some cattails and we have all sorts of other things more lily pads going across and what appears to be tiny legs coming out of the water now I have all of my koi armor equipped on Pete here and me and Pete are going to take an explorational dive underwater to bring you guys to the base now when we jump down in here you guys are gonna notice that there are some new things in the water okay as you guys see there are new plants in the water and there are new bugs in the water and there's even some things that are not bugs those are tadpoles those are leeches that are added to the game okay these plants right here they give you oxygen which is fantastic awesome good thing that they added to the game all right then there are diving beetles which is what you guys keep seeing there's a leech up close there's one of the diving beetles over there more about them in future episodes guys but today our big story our big brain move that we're going to do today is we are going to go explore the underwater base so it says find your way into the depths of the pond that is right over here okay so we are going to swim a little bit faster down in this very 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 bright cavern that is very obvious and you guys will see this bottom pond t-rex entrance look at how cool this t-rex looks we wanted more toys added to the game and they added this really cool looking t-rex in here really super excited about that all right, now what we have to do is we have to swim through this very, very, very bright, okay? Look at how bright this place is. This super bright cavern, okay? I don't know why the leeches are down here. I don't think that leeches like light this much, but they're down here. Guys, and the leeches are killable. If you try hard enough, you can end up killing them, and they will aggro you just like that, and they will try to kill you yourself. All right, let's hop out of the water here, and let's check out this base. Look at this place. The first thing that I'm going to add is you guys will notice all this green stuff floating in the air. It is because the game still believes that we are underwater. So you will see breaths coming up, the bubbles coming up from us, but we are no longer holding our breath. So technically the game knows we're not underwater, but it is not made to be air under here yet. The game is not rendering that it's oxygen under here. So I'm going to look around here, you guys. You guys see that the walls are completely covered in computers. There seems to be more of these broken science things here, guys. There is a storage room over here that has more beakers and science -y equipment and in here we have some eel glass inside of one of these uh, containment chambers I don't know maybe they were doing some sort of tests on it maybe eel grass is needed for the conversion to make people tiny there's only speculation right now guys this is all just testing stuff guys this is not the final 100% gonna be in the game okay this is all could change in a matter of an instant because you have no idea what could be coming to this game right I definitely don't no, I'm only speculating inside of this room. We have another thing that I call, like to call moon pools I call these moon pool rooms like from Subnautica because that's what they look like I feel like you should be able to build some sort of like scuba tank or something or or like little tiny a um, uh, little tiny submarine that comes up here. Maybe you like lasso on a, a leech or something and you're able to ride a leech up over here but these are the two moon pools for over here but the really cool stuff guys is upstairs so we are going to go upstairs here guys and this is where this base takes off this is incredible i have walked up here once before just to kind of check it out explore on my own before i bring it to you guys and look 
at this room, guys. Look at it. It is absolutely massive. This is the biggest room that I've seen in a base yet. There's a door right there that's locked. We can't get in there yet, but we will be able to soon. There's some more security cameras here, more equipment for doing different experiments. Guys, you only have any idea. Look at, there's another laser control over here. So this is, has to be another one of the control rooms for one of the lasers. We're not really sure, but there's so much in here. Lots more computer stuff, lots Those more storage. Like geometric shapes in and there's still Pete over here talking crap. Real. All right, so let's go up here, guys. There's a lever up here that we can pull, and that's when things get really crazy. So I'm going to pull this lever, and you guys are going to see one of the coolest things I've seen in this game yet. Let's pull this lever right here. Go ahead and uh, pull that one, Pete. We're going to go into third-person mode, and we are going to watch as the entire dome of this base opens up. Look at that. I think it's supposed to open a little bit more, but we did fry some power breakers, guys, and we have to find those underwater. I haven't gone looking for them yet, but there are underwater power breakers out in the pond. I have not found them yet. I haven't gone looking because I want to leave some secrets for myself to find as well. Guys, there is so much more to this game that still can be added, and I want to thank everybody so much for coming and watching this video. And if you guys like it, please hit that like button. But now we're going to go through this final door over here and show you guys what this adds as well. By the way, there is also an well, analyzer in here where you can analyze things, and I don't know what this is. It's a red beeping thing. Maybe it's a switch. I'm not sure, but you can't interact with it yet. We're going to go in here, and you guys see that now there is a smaller square moon pool in here, and if we jump on in there, let's jump on in. You can jump on in down here and you can swim out the top and here you are outside in the pond again easy access to the underwater base guys here is the underwater base right here look at it it is gorgeous it is absolutely perfect in every way this base is everything I wanted to be for an underwater base. It is huge. It has a huge dome underwater where you can look out and see everything under here. It is automated. It's the first switch in the game besides the Oak Lab that actually does anything, right? So it's super cool to see that this is what they've integrated into the game. So you guys see the base over there and that is so awesome. But there's one other last little thing that I want to go over as well is if you swim up here, there is now this big blue square, right? Which I thought off the beginning, I'm like, what the heck is this? thing what could this be and i found out if you just swim up here it's actually a pool cleaner right look at how small you are to compare to this pool cleaner right but the cool thing about this pool cleaner guys is the fact that it gives you a very easy way now to access this side of the lawn which makes me believe that there will be more added to this side of the pond in the coming updates. Because right now when we go over here, yes, there is the one base over here, but other than that, it's just a barren grassland over here. There isn't anything, but they are literally pointing us in the direction of these grasslands. They are pointing us over here to say what else could be over here. And you don't know yet, but they could add so many things. I know that they're adding a cricket to the game. I know that they're adding more fleas, water fleas, diving bell spiders, water striders. There's so many different things that are coming into the game that you guys have yet to see. So guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment down below of other things you guys may want me to explore in this game because I have no problem looking around and exploring more for all of you guys to find new things that are also in this game mode. That way we can see everything that there is for the game so far and all of the hidden secrets that the developers left for us to find but they just haven't put in the full game release yet so thank you everybody so much for watching this video and i'll see all of you guys in the next one